Number six, skyscrapers in the future will be made out of wood? Have we forgotten everything we learned from the Three Little Pigs? Well, wood is making a big comeback in the construction industry, and that should make us all nervous. And we're not talking tiny houses either, but wooden skyscrapers. There's already a 14-story tower in Norway and an 18-story wooden dormitory at the University of British Columbia. Wooden skyscrapers are about a quarter of the weight of a similar building constructed with reinforced concrete. Their strength and their durability is due to the use of cross-laminated timber, and their carbon footprint is reduced by an estimated 65 to 70 percent compared to a standard skyscraper. That all sounds awesome, but there are two major issues. The first is the concern over illegal deforestation by companies who are looking to cut costs. And the second is that wood is super flammable. A small blaze could burn the whole place down. So would you move into a wooden skyscraper? Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Number five, with growing anxiety around contracting diseases from others, as well as a general reduction in social skills due to excessive screen use, people are turning more and more to sites like X Hamster to get their rocks off. And now, scientists are working on a solution for those who won't or can't find a lover. Introducing sex robots. That's right, boys and girls. These lean, mean love machines are sure to satisfy your thirst for affection. Instead of a bar, people of the not too distant future may swing by Best Buy to pick up their new partner. It goes without saying that human to human physical interaction may face great challenges in the future. One concern is that the companionship aspect of human robot relationships will keep getting better as AI progresses. Plainly put, in the future, a robot could be tailor made to suit your deepest physical and emotional needs, and organic relationships could become a thing of the past. Number four. Not to get too black mirror-y up in here, but we're looking at a future filled with swarms of robot bees. Because the global bee population has been on the decline for years, extensive research has been conducted to create artificial pollinators. Japanese scientists have successfully used a bee-like drone to transfer pollen from Japanese lilies. The master plan is to one day have fleets of autonomous drones that would take the place of bees. What could go wrong? It turns out, a lot. Introducing the artificial pollinators has the potential to completely upset existing ecosystems. And there is the risk that they'd be eaten by wildlife or break down and contaminate land and waterways. And if you put robotic bees into the wrong hands, they could easily be weaponized or used as tools for mass surveillance. Number three, neural implants are currently under research by several tech titans, including Elon Musk. When he isn't getting into high profile Twitter battles, Musk is actively thinking about drilling a hole in your head. It's a procedure where a device is implanted in the skull with wires extending into the brain. The device, which is developed by Musk's Neuralink company, is a marriage between AI and the human brain. This neural implant is meant to help people with degenerative brain diseases or those who have been in accidents. Future versions and updates of neural implants will likely allow you to have perfect recall, edit your memories, and get instant answers to any question. They could even enhance certain physical abilities. It might sound awesome, but it would create an enormous gap between people who can afford such implants and people who can't. The rich will basically become superhumans. Number two, talking about AI usually has people thinking about Skynet. In the Terminator and similar doomsday scenarios, we'd either become slaves or just get eliminated by some super intelligence as it goes live and becomes self-aware. And while that still might happen, it's not the most immediate concern. Artificial intelligence is, in fact, much more likely to kill our jobs. Hod Lipson, the director at Cornell University's Creative Machine Labs, argued that AI, quote, does almost everything better than almost anyone. 
End quote. It's estimated that by the end of the century, more than half of all the jobs will be performed by artificial intelligence. There's also a concern of properly incorporating AI into the everyday real world. The risk of mismanaging the implementation of AI in everyday objects ranges from smart homes trapping you inside to a smart car driving you off a cliff. Number one, virtual reality is getting good, like scary good. So much so that even experts in the field are worried about its future implications. One aspect of that concern is that immersion in the virtual world to such a high degree could make it that the outside world no longer matters. And worse still, users might struggle to distinguish between the virtual and the real world. Another potential issue is psychological trauma from hyper-realistic games. A crazy real Call of Duty VR could induce cases of PTSD. In line with this worry is the one that this technology might be used by military personnel to engage in enhanced interrogation. Military leaders could argue that it's humane since there would be no physical harm. However, virtual enhanced interrogation could leave the mind in shambles. 